Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Push Square, and I've been playing No Man's Sky. Now, if you've been following this game closely, you'll know that review code went out very, very, very late, um, and I've only managed to play about two hours of the game at the time of recording this, half an hour of which I had to replay because it didn't save. So yeah, but moving on from that, um, I'm just going to post some first impressions here because the embargo is now lifted. We're allowed to talk about it, but this isn't an official review. Um, don't expect a review for at least five to seven days because there's a lot to get through in this game. And we want to make sure that we see it all or as much as possible and that we're playing on the final patched version, which of course was announced over the weekend, um, Hello Games has done a ton of work on the game, uh, basically changed the entire galaxy with version 1.03. So we wanted to make sure we were reviewing that version, because that's the version that you're obviously going to be playing as well. Um, but yeah, so initial impressions are that it's super dense and super obtuse. Um, there's a lot going on in this game, and Hello Games isn't particularly forthcoming at explaining to you what's going on. Now that's not a bad thing. If you look at the popularity of games like Dark Souls, for example, um, they have thrived on communities coming together and figuring out all of this obscure, random uh, systems and information and, and lore together. And I, very get, I get a very similar feeling from No Man's Sky. It wants you to fiddle around, play around in its sandbox and kind of work everything out for yourself. Having said that, um, it does start off guiding you a little bit. Um, your ship is basically marooned on a planet at the start of the game. I assume it's the same for everyone, I don't know, maybe maybe it differs depending on where you begin, but I assume it's the same for everyone. Um, and it basically starts out saying you need to fix your ship's thrusters and, and stuff like that. So you go about um, with your mining tool, which is basically a gun, basically, um, and you shoot rocks to get iron, you shoot plants to get carbon, and every element in the game has got like a really cool... Um, 70s periodic table style uh, design to it which is very cool um, and yeah you gather up these materials to basically fix your ship and it basically sends you out into the first planet um, you have a sort of five minute stroll to kind of get your bearings and find this one material that you need to to fix your ship so you can blast off into outer space it looks nice, the The art style is great, it's got a cool kind of, there's lots of chromatic aberration if you want to use a fancy word, which gives the, the game that kind of retro sci-fi look to it. Um, the colours are really nice and what I'm surprised by is even when you look out at a vista, it looks kind of, you can see the mathematics of uh, a play when you look out onto a vista but when you're moving through the environment they do a lot to make it feel alive so they're like blades of gr grass blowing around and you know um, ships fly overhead um, the atmosphere completely um, changes like the colors of the sky um, and stuff like that as you sorry my hair's a right mess as you um, as, as you explore and as time passes um, so yeah, I'm quite impressed by that. It, it's no Uncharted 4 by any stretch of the imagination. You can tell a small team have, has made this. There are no crazy, beautiful, pre-rendered kind of architecture or anything like that. It very much feels like they've built certain assets and they populate the world with those assets, with those terrains um, and stuff like that. But it's still got a good convincing look to it. And I think the most important thing is that it does feel alive. It feels like there's lots of stuff everywhere you turn and lots of things to, to oh, you know, you see something off on the distance and you're like, I'm going to have a look at that and I wonder what it is. Um, so, yeah, what I worry about with it is, uh, certainly at this early stage, is how how long that novelty is going to last, right? Um, so in my playtime, I, I started on this planet, I fixed my ship up, I blasted off um, to a nearby space station. There I encountered a kind of alien race who I couldn't understand what they were trying to tell me because I don't know their language. But um, I picked up some words on the first planet I was on and it, it kind of translates a couple of words for you, but you still 
can't really understand what the alien is trying to tell you. So I left the space station and I picked up a kind of beacon, a distress beacon. So I went to another planet, which in fairness looked completely different. Um, this one had like um, a radiation in its atmosphere and lots of seas and waters. So that, that stuff is really cool and it's super impressive when you come from out of space and you land on a planet and it, it's just this vast expanse of, of world basically for you to explore. Like when you think that there are billions, more than billions, in the game, like that's super impressive. Um, but the gameplay loop at the moment has yet to really hook me. It's a bit too vague and a bit too ambiguous for me. And I think some people are going to like that. People that are already part of like Reddit communities and stuff like that. They're going to have a great time figuring out what the best items to craft are. Where to get the best mining equipment and stuff like that. I'm not sure personally that's for me. But I still need to play it a lot more. Um, like I say, I've only played a couple of hours. And I just wanted to get some impressions up basically for you. Um, there's an hour... Well, uh, 40 minutes or so of gameplay footage on the channel, which is basically my first hands-on with the game. So you can check that out if you want to see kind of the things that I've been talking about. Um, otherwise, stay tuned to the channel. We're going to have tons more on No Man's Sky over the coming days. And I wished I could tell you more. I wished I'd played loads more ahead of the embargo. I wished I'd had time today to play more. But basically, it's just been the first two hours. It's promising. I like the ideas. I like the way it controls. I like the way it looks. I'm just not sure that it's going to be for me personally yet. But um, I still need to play a lot more to come to any firm conclusions. And of course, we'll have tons more on the channel over the coming days, like I just said. So yeah, stay, stay tuned. But um, it's launch day today, so... Let me know if you've played the game yet, what you think so far, what are your favourite things about the game, what are you not liking at the moment, um, and yeah, I haven't really got anything else to say at the moment. No Man's Sky, it's out, it actually came out, can you believe it? <laughs> I can't. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, as always, um, and I'll see you next time.